your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. And good morning. A winter storm warning is in effect for our area. This winter storm warning is still in effect. Some of you may have woke up early this morning and thought, what the heck? There's no snow. The transition is taking a little longer, but it's still taking place. And so the warning exists because now we're seeing the transition. And now during these morning hours is when we're going to start to see a few little difficulties out there, especially for travels. You can see as this area of low pressure has again continued to work its way off to the north and to the east, we're starting to see that intensity picking up here on the backside. So we've been watching and monitoring this taking place through these morning hours, the changeover from rain to snow literally happening while we've been on the air and now we're continuing to see that coverage increase across our entire area this morning. We'll show you our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar and you can see again there's plenty of snow coming down. I-74 corridor, I-70 corridor right now. Little mixing taking place down to the south here. Portions of Crawford County down around Robinson. Parts of Sullivan County here maybe a little mixing still taking place in a couple of spots. But as we take you back off to the west, this is Effingham, Illinois right now. A live look with our Graber Post Buildings Cam. And you can certainly see where the transition to snow has taken place. We're starting to see a little bit of coverage here in a few spots. Again, this is nothing heavy as far as amounts measured right now. But the changeover has taken place there. And light snow is falling back in the Effingham area. Futurecast does a nice job of telling the story. Here we are this morning with the coverage of snow now across the entire two state it's going to quickly taper off by this afternoon anything left over would be just light snow flurries we're not going to get additional accumulations this afternoon none tomorrow either but we still may see a few light snow showers around on the back side of that system this would be during the day tomorrow as we prepare to wrap up the week maybe a few breaks in the clouds not a lot but i think at least a break from the precipitation as we get into Friday and Saturday, things will be drier out there. Now, temperatures for us this morning, again, we're sitting around that freezing mark right now. We won't warm much today. We'll kind of stay around 32, 35, somewhere in that range through much of the day into the afternoon. Overnight and into tomorrow morning now, our temperatures are going to get slightly below the freezing mark, which means untreated roads, bridges, overpasses, sidewalks are going to be damp. And and there could be a few scattered slick spots early tomorrow. During the day tomorrow, we're also not expected to get above freezing. So again, that becomes a factor with just being cautious out there tomorrow on any untreated surfaces. We're talking about a temperature trend here that's going to start to go downward for us as we get into next week and wrap up January. Today, around the freezing mark. Here comes the colder shot behind this system, warming slightly to start the weekend. We got our eye on this cold air though because this cold air is going to be below freezing and that below freezing pattern is going to start to settle in here as we start the month of February. For today, today's temperatures around the freezing mark. Snow, light snow continues as we go throughout the morning hours, tapering this afternoon and tonight anything left would just be light flurries as we fall below freezing. We really don't see ourselves getting much above that tomorrow. Cloudy skies to end the week, but drier weather. Another system Sunday and yet another system Tuesday. So an active, colder pattern is setting up.